Hello, welcome. My name is San. This is a reading today for Capricorn. There are no dates on my readings. I trust that when they find you, if they resonate and they're yours at that time. Capricorn, I'm doing your reading with my triple stack of cards blended into one. So you'll see a mix of all three in your spread today. So we've got Mountain Clarity on the split. And the five of fire at the bottom of the deck. So the five of fire, this five of fire to me talks about beginner's mind, right? So there's something about um, moving into a, a time of clarity that may actually be like a begin again type of energy. I can definitely see that on the table here already. So it's not necessarily about getting clarity about a specific concept or situation or relationship. It's actually at clarity as in like cleaning the slate, like beginning again and moving back into beginner's mind. So again, I feel like I've said this word a lot recently. Um, it's like a reset type of energy. A reset of your mind or your consciousness or your position. Okay. Overall energy from the creativity oracle. Enchantment. Okay, so that's fascinating. Okay, enchantment. This enchantment card is, well, it talks to me a little bit about almost like, um, well, being in sync, but also kind of being entranced, right? Like a bit of a trance or being uh, maybe under the influence of something. There's been uh, an influence. Uh, there's been some sort of a player in the game that it's almost like you are unaware that their energy being added to the mix is actually guiding your movements perhaps more than you realize that's what the enchantment talks about i mean the back of the card actually talks about muse which is different than enchantment in my mind but you see what I mean about how these two individuals are, are moving in sync together? And I feel like one is not aware that the other is there. Or, I mean, maybe we are bringing in the idea of muse in the sense that perhaps you are aware of this kind of connection that is between you and another being that you are moving in sync and it is seen as a muse type of relationship an inspiring muse based relationship but perhaps perhaps that is about to shift or change um okay well i want to say that it is absolutely shifting or changing because this first card here with the pegasus it says transcending but when the card first came out this morning i saw the word ascending which I guess is in those letters, the word ascending. Um, but this card specifically, the image on this card is, there's a bit of tension in this card for me. First of all, it's either a relationship kind of coming back together. It feels to me almost like some sort of a magical element that is coming back in and there's a, a real gratitude at that coming back together or that reunion. There's that energy in it. So it's kind of this, relief after a period of stress um but then there's also in this card a bit of a it's the disengagement of a relationship because it feels to me also like this being here is almost throwing the person off right so and that could be kind of a timeline of events right there could be an earlier point where there was the throwing off or the ending of that coupling and then there's when it comes back together there's this relief point but today this card is talking about ascending that maybe that entire tension or dynamic, right? And it could be, you know, very much talking about this relationship. So the idea of ascending as opposed to transcending is kind of like leaving it alone. Transcending feels to me like it's being worked with and attempting to be shifted and changed and 
healed or transmuted in some way, but ascending is kind of like it falling away completely and moving on to something else, right? And then the queen of air coming next to it is talking about moving on to clarity. And we started with clarity here. So I'm seeing Capricorn, you ascending into clarity. But what's really fascinating about it is that once that has been unpacked, that there's this movement into clarity that has not been touched before, maybe because there's been this kind of being um, in that energy of attempting to tran transcend or transform or transmute something. There's been a lot of engagement in that energy. And this is, I want to say, maybe the first time that it's moving into this ascension or beyond moving beyond it completely into clarity. And it's almost like, and therefore the this is the first time clarity is coming in about that dynamic perhaps. So, but what's fascinating about that is after unpacking that conversation, the rest of the reading kind of goes into this really interesting, almost more of like a literal depiction of ascending, like a, the plane, the, the planet ascending or I'll just show it to you like an elevator or something, right? There's the sun card here and I'm really noticing today the the two different levels that these energies are at and then this card here with the three of earth it's suddenly like being up at this higher level maybe maybe have having been almost fixated or spellbound or drawn into the sun whatever the sun energy represents some sort of a uh, a glow, an attractive glow, right? That is kind of keeping keeping maybe the two of you kind of um, engaged within it. Maybe it's just entertainment. Maybe it's just a pleasant, warm feeling. It's something, something, right? You've been kind of engaged in this, but now for the first time, it's like there's something that is happening that, that you, I wanna say, are being lifted to see beyond that. It's almost like this is the first time that you've been at a place where you you can actually see beyond whatever the sun represents, right? Or you can see beyond the sun, something like that, which is fascinating too, because then the biome comes next with this four of water, this four of cups, and it's almost the same kind of a thing, right? It's like being able to see past this sphere, past the, past the construct, past maybe just the circumstances that you've been kind of embedded in for the first time. And I, and I feel like it's not necessarily because of something that you're doing or choosing or reaching for, it feels almost like this kind of automatic shift or movement that has begun, this rising up. It's making me think of, I saw a really brief clip in a, in a chat board that I'm part of on Telegram where somebody was describing, I think it maybe was a dream or was an out of body experience. It was some sort of a information that had come in where he had this perception that the entire plane of existence, this realm was actually rising up. And his perception was that because of that, the clouds almost feel like they're closer down to the surface of the earth, but it's actually because the realm itself is rising up. It's something like that is like, it, it gives me that vibe. And it was also in yesterday's collective extended where it's all this kind of Indiana Jones, Raiders of the Lost are kind of this like deep movement, you know, in the ground or in the caves or some kind of a time capsule energy where things begin to shift and move. And it's like the tectonic, te is it te tectonic plagues have begun to shift. And, and because of that, there's a rising up that's occurring. But of course, that's all symbolic. I'm not saying that the earth is actually moving or adjusting, but maybe it is. But whatever it is that's occurring, it's like your vantage point is shifting. And because of that, you're able to see over or past something that never occurred for you to even attempt to look beyond before. Does that make sense? I mean, if we're talking about some sort of a relationship, I mean, you could have been so tied up in this dynamic that it never occurred to you that there might be a point in time where you would see past it. Do you see what I mean? It's like it's been kind of your full... It's had your full attention this for a significant amount of time and it just never even occurred to you that there would be a time beyond this dynamic. Do you see what I mean? Because you've been kind of all in, all invested. 
Okay, but, but what's interesting though, is that this queen of air here representing clarity or this new vantage point that is being attained by some sort of a mechanism that oh, it almost feels automatic, right? It's some kind of auto mechanism that is almost like embedded in the foundation of rea the reality structure itself. The reality structure itself is beginning to shift and move. And because of that, it's putting you kind of on this higher plane where you're able to see past this dynamic. Okay, so, but what's interesting is that this queen of air that represents that clarity that you're attaining is coming up again with this king of air after this four of cups here. And so what that was telling me was that something like this has been brought to you before or it has been attempted before or there's been similar kinds of dynamics or opportunities in the past. It's almost like this happened before. This was brought to you before. You were brought to this moment before with the Four of Cups. The Four of Cups is almost like um, an offer that is rejected or an opportunity that is bypassed or sometimes even not acknowledged, right? It's kind of cast aside because there's, um, there's a focus on other matters, right? And so when this, this thing comes along, it just kind of moves right past because there's an engagement that is more compelling. So that could be this relationship, for example. So, but what it's showing me is that something to do with the water and that could represent relationship as well too, right? Because it's the water realm. It's like you were so kind of deep in some kind of watery aspect, which could be a very emotional engagement that the last time this kind of opportunity or this clarity moved past you, it was missed by you. I'm not sure why that's significant, why that's coming up, but that's what it's showing it to me. It's like, it's like this is, it's almost like this is the second time this energy has come around. This time it's actually, um, this time it's actually bringing you into something new. Whereas last time it kind of passed you by and it might not have been kind of anything to do with it's like no fault of your own. It's not like you weren't paying attention. Maybe it has something to do with almost like astrological alignments or something. It's like it came close to being, but it, it didn't quite click in. It came close to the right configuration, but it went, going back to that Indiana Jones kind of reference, I don't even know if this is true, but I feel like there's a part, maybe there's a part in all of those kinds of scenes where it's like you have to have exactly the right pieces and exactly the right spots in order to, for it to kind of click into place and then begin the big, movement the big turning right it's like that it's like it came close it was almost ready to click in but it didn't quite and it just went past right okay so um and then the enlightenment card coming up next which is fascinating because it ties into the collective readings a bit and this card here i'm noticing how this this enlightenment temple is very similar to this fireplace in the home card right so there's something about the enlightenment being right where you are it brings of course in the idea a little bit of like the wizard of oz where at the end of the movie she's like there's no place like home it's but it's not that though because there's there's an there's a misconception there's an attempt to deceive in that thinking i've always just intuitively cringed anytime it's like the the What's that other movie? Is it, you know, where the, where the bell rings and angels get their wings and it's the same message about like, it's all right here in your backyard. And you know, there's no place like home. You never really needed to go anywhere. It, I mean, so there, it's like, yes, there is value in that, that it's like you have everything that you need contained within you or it's right here where you are. But there's also something almost like discouraging of, exploration it's kind of like don't ask questions and don't search and don't be curious that's what I always get from that energy so it's not quite that I don't want to I don't want to peg that energy on it but it's similar and so it's kind of like the coyote maybe energy that's been coming up there are this kind of 
flipping things where it's like there is incredible truth in that about it is right where you are but then that has been kind of flipped and manipulated in those kinds of movies where it's somehow it brings in almost like a, a feeling of like guilt and shame in some way anyway I feel like that's getting off topic but basically it's something like it's right here where you are it's it's like it's it's happening in your home or it's very personal or it's coming to you there's been all those readings about kind of a knock on the door and a personal delivery it's kind of got that like the enlightenment is is happening where you are almost like very personal like it's it's almost to do with your actual the your home your place of living which is really interesting because there was that whole discussion about a change of heart is a change of home. So there's been a lot of focus on home, right? Your home base or what you identify as home. What you identify as home is, is elevating. It's shifting and changing because the meandering flow, the meandering pathway flow card is coming next. And to me, that is talking about um, almost like a radical, radical has been a word coming up a lot lately, a radical shift in focus and a radical shift in the plan because it's like this is the path that has been followed up until now. It's like there's this clear understanding of the path, what my, what my journey is, what my plan is, what I'm doing exactly. Maybe somebody who is very um, clearly understanding of their mission and actually really getting the work done and doing like being very focused and very purposeful right but this is a change this is like a radical shift in that it's almost like the path or the plan the journey that was embarked upon and it kind of in mid path is being abandoned or at least put on hold while this other thing occurs it's like this, this is you here, Capricorn, and it's like suddenly you're abandoning this path and you're taking in this phenomenon. And that, again, is bringing in this idea of that it's, it's not, that it's kind of in a bigger context than, than you, something that is happening on a broader scale, but at the same time is also very personal and almost like it's occurring right in your very home or right under your very feet. Right? Actually, as I'm saying that, I'm just remembering this card here. This card is a really interesting, it's got a lot going on in it today. First of all, it's bringing in that, well, is it bringing in both of these cards? There's this being in this immersed in the water, in the emotions, in the psyche, in the consciousness, in the energy realm, however you want to read the water. And then like I was talking about how this card, the biome is kind of the summation perhaps of your the details of your life. This is a symbolic representation of your life, right? Encap your life encapsulated. And um, sorry, and then this card is is kind of the two of them combined. You can see that, right? It's almost like it's almost like it's lifting up out of the water. There's been all this stuff about stuff coming up from the depths. Like I said, it almost feels really literal to me, like something about like under the earth embedded in the earth or under the water itself is rising up and bringing you with it. But there's also a really interesting aspect to this card today too, where she, I feel like I've seen her before. Like she's in a music video. She looks a little bit like Taylor Swift. Is there a Taylor Swift video where she's wearing something like this and kind of stumbling through the forest or something like that? Um, but it's making me think a little bit of like sleepwalking and being in a really precarious position almost without even knowing it, you know, like a sleepwalker um, kind of, you know, like on a high wire, not even aware that they are in a super dangerous position because they're just something is guiding them. Something is guiding them, whether it's like the higher self that the, you know, that's interesting. So with this water energy and this something about how there's almost this automatic, something on autopilot that is shifting, maybe that has something to do with the mind or the psyche is shifting maybe out of autopilot and kind of, if that were the case, well, if that were the case, it would almost be like, 
Okay, there, so there's something not completely accurate about that, but there is something that is accurate about that. Maybe what's not accurate about that is the perilousness of it. There's, there's just, but there, it's like finding balance despite holding balance. It's almost like you shouldn't be able to pull that off. You shouldn't be able to pull that off, but you are. It's interesting because in yesterday's reading, I was saying that about how is it, how are you doing that? How, how is that possible? How are you doing that? It's almost that kind of a, a line of thought again, but if you're doing it because you don't realize you're doing it, right? Because it's kind of like, um, if you become too hyper-conscious, then you get awkward and you start stumbling, right? So it's almost, it almost has to be not overly thought about just being in the flow. So that could be going back to this card about being in the flow. You found this, this amazing flow state where you're navigating life without it really, without any of the perils of life really impacting you. And people may be saying that about you, Capricorn. It's like, how are you pulling, how are you doing so well in such a difficult time, perhaps? Okay, but then with this 10 of cups here, there's again, this kind of rising up, right? It's like, it's like the water is clearing as this sculpture. Again, there's that sculpture again. What is that sculpture about? There's all this, like this sculpture is being revealed. But it's like something, this one is, is kind of in the depths and it's being, it's coming up and it's the 10 of cups, which is a really beautiful energy. So it's almost like this, this happiness is rising up. Maybe, maybe rising up out of the, a perilous situation and not even realizing that that there was any peril because all that is being experienced is kind of this happiness energy or this balance because you're staying in balance. But I feel like, okay, so that's interesting. So I feel like at some point you will realize afterwards the situation that you, it's almost like you walked through a, an incredibly challenging obstacle with grace, like without even realizing that you were in a really challenging obstacle course. And it's like reaching the finish line with this 10 of cups. And then perhaps understanding that, but it's not even coming in yet. I feel like that's somewhere further down the road. Because right now what is happening is just this kind of moving into something is moving. It's almost like the ground is moving. There is a movement occurring with this rising up energy. It's almost like the ground itself is rising up, like in that vision or, or dream that I was talking about that someone else had, where it's like the, the plane or the realm itself is rising up. And as it does, discard any idea of there being any peril whatsoever what you are moving into or focused upon as this is occurring is kind of the the jewels or the gems the treasures that was in yesterday's reading too about this kind of hidden treasure the treasures that are coming up for you it's almost like underneath your very foundation underneath the home and this is like a very literal translation of a very symbolic idea the very home that you reside within, it's like it's suddenly rising up. This this does almost look like a bit like an elevator shaft as well too, right? It's like it's it's rising up almost literally, right? With these cards here. And as it does, it's like underneath you, there's, it's like pulling up all of these pearls, right? It's like she's got this, these treasures, these massive pentacles in her hands as this comes up, right? So it's almost like in the ground right beneath you is buried all of this incredible amount of resource and kind of untapped treasure that is like, is, and I want to say that it belongs to you because it's like, it's, it's on your property and you didn't even know that it was there. And because of that, it's kind of this, this um, kind of beginning, beginning energy again, right? Like moving into this, what can we do with all of this that is being unearthed in a sense 
there's all this incredible promise or resource that's being unearthed and there's this excitement about what can we do with it? What can I do with this? That's maybe the beginner mind energy that you're moving into is almost like whatever this was is falling away. It's almost like this muse or inspiration type of an idea, almost like being guided by an unseen force perhaps is being discarded for something much more tangible. And I feel like that's been kind of coming up too. That was in the, in the beginning of yesterday's collective about the more subtle realm suddenly moving into something that's actually much more tangible. It's like, this is, this is like being given things to actually physically, literally work your, with your hands. So this kind of reaching for inspiration or pulling in creativity is shifting somehow into this, this more kind of hands-on working with resources that have been kind of right below your feet all this time, but you didn't know it. It may have been kind of presented in some way or close to, it's almost like it's moved by, the possibility is moved by in the past, but maybe there was a choice made to stay engaged in this type of a relationship because this was still being worked with or transformed or transmuted or being transcended. And so now that is shifting. It's interesting how this ascending idea is actually somehow unearthing something really practical and hands-on, right? Okay, so I'm gonna continue to pull cards and create an extended. If you're interested in that, link is in the description. If not, I will see you next time. Thanks, bye.